name is Dr. Will Parasmith and I'm here today to talk to you about human papillomavirus, specifically in relation to the part one MRCOG exam. So what is human papillomavirus? HPV is a non-enveloped, double-stranded DNA papillomavirus that infects epithelial cells. There are more than 100 types of HPV, with two types, 16 and 18, causing more than 70% of cervical cancer. There are around 14 oncogenic types of HPV which contribute to the development of cervical cancer, and these are, as mentioned, 16 and 18, 31, 33, 35, 39, 45, 51, 52, 56, 58, 59, 66, and 68. How is HPV transmitted, and what are the risk factors for persistent infection? HPV is mainly transmitted through sexual contact, with the majority of people infected at or around sexual debut. The risk factors are early first sexual contact, multiple sexual partners, smoking and immune suppression, such as HIV, or drugs causing immune suppression, such as those used in transplant recipients. How does HPV cause cervical cancer? HPV infection integrates into the host cellular chromatin, leading to cell transformation. Host cellular proteins are then inactivated or degraded, including E7, retinoblastoma protein, and E6, P53. The HPV integration into the host DNA leads to viral oncogene expression, causing chromosomal instability and eventually cancer development. What is the role of vaccination? Vaccination prevents initial infection of HPV. In the UK, we use Gardasil, which protects against HPV types 6, 11, 16 and 18. 6 and 11 protect against 90% of genital warts. The vaccine contains virus-like particles and vaccination is offered to girls aged 12 to 13 with a second dose 6 to 12 months later. I hope you've enjoyed the talk today on HPV for the part 1 examination and you can tune in for further talks on HPV with reference to the part 2 exam at a later date.